Today on Future 360, innovating a non-profit to enrich the lives of millions. Sally Begbie, Crossroads Foundation. I'm a director. Situated on 14 acres just outside Hong Kong, Crossroads is a unique NGO. The brainchild of former PR consultant and accountant husband, the foundation boasts a variety of innovative programs, including one which allows CEOs like Richard Branson the chance to experience life as a refugee. We feel as though the problems that are faced by people around the planet today are in many cases able to be overcome. They shouldn't be suffering as they are. Our world shouldn't be in the mess it is. And I think that desperation is the prime driver for us, for innovation. If we can't meet their needs through our humanitarian solutions, let's generate business solutions. If we as Crossroads can't keep up with the amount of need that's coming our way, let's set up this program online to hook more people up in a way that we can multiply ourselves. And if we can't easily motivate people and they're finding experiential programs effective, if they find it much more effective to be a refugee for a moment than just hear about refugees, then let's develop those. It's a desperation, I think, a passion in our hearts to say, let's find what works to hook up a broken world. Tell me about the success of the experiential programs. When you come here, we don't just tell you about refugees. We invite you to become a refugee for a couple of hours and give you just a taste of what it's like to meet soldiers, what it's like to go through a minefield, what it's like to live under the pressures of a camp, insofar as you can in a couple of hours. Or we might invite you to take a bunch of rubble and experience life in the slums by constructing your own slum home and live in it for 24 hours or so. We invite you to step into the shoes who are of those who are HIV vulnerable and see what that feels like, not knowing if you're positive or negative. People are so moved after these experiences, it astounds us. And I think that's because they are authentically driven by those who've experienced it first and have told us what to focus on. What have been some of the challenges in running a foundation and how have you overcome them? It's very hard to find the resources you need to keep growing at the rate people are asking of you. On the need side, people around the world keep sending us requests for help and keeping up with that is, is a major challenge because we're volunteer staffed and uh, frankly finding the numbers is difficult. I think the second challenge we face is uh, finance. Oddly enough it's a bit easier to overcome than the people problem but Finding sufficient financial donations is, is the bane of life for every NGO and we are no exception. How do you inspire people to give? Our great desire is to inspire people to engage at what they're best at. And for us, if giving's part of that, that's cool. But it's not all about money, we think, dealing with today's problems in the world. It's much more about engaging where you're good at what you do. Media people can engage by programs about people in need in forgotten disaster areas, for example. Um, there are so many ways in which companies can take and individuals can take what they're best at and bring that together with a world in need. 